Today, the state of Michigan is going to be releasing the latest data that it has on new cases, as well as announcing the winner of the $2 million grand prize in that whole My Shot to Win sweepstakes, along with the college scholarship winners and the $50,000 winners. So there'll be a lot of winners announced today, and you can follow along on ClickOnDetroit.com. And now to flooding in Michigan. The fourth highest flood since the 1950s left a mess for homeowners in Hamburg Township. There's concern as the flooding is happening more frequently and the water just has no place to go. So the township is working with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to try and find a solution. And homeowners recently formed the group Residents Working Against Huron River Flooding. And we're trying to just pull together all of our different experiences, all of our different expertise to really look at, OK, how can we help us and help the township and help the community address it? The group is planning to hold a community meeting next Saturday. We have posted complete details. If you want to go and click on Detroit.com. Tonight, the discussion will continue over a proposed development in Wyandotte, where the process has taken a little bit longer than normal. Plans for the former McKinley Elementary School have changed since the development was first proposed. However, the one constant has been controversy. Many who live in the area oppose decisions that were made by the city council and the proposed nursing home and say that they want to keep the park and green space, which is there right now. The business is not welcome here. I mean, it it is going to put a strain on our community. It's going to put a strain on our streets and our roads. They kept bloating it and bloating it and bloating it. And that's where it kind of got, wait a minute, you lost the neighborhood now. So tonight at 7, the Wyandotte City Council will hear yet another change to the, to the development. And they'll also hear from homeowners.